Hi, my name is Charles Kaplan. I'm a professor at the State University of New York at Old Westbury, and this video deals with differentiating fractions with numbers in the numerator and variables in the denominator using the power rule. So these are among the uh, simplest type of uh, uh, differentiation problems that students run into. Uh, but it seems to always give them trouble. Uh, it trips up students year after year after year. So let's take a look at them and let me show you why they're actually so easy to, to work with. Let's start with something very simple and basic, 1 over x squared. Well, we can rewrite 1 over x squared as x to the negative 2. We can use that negative exponent to kick out that uh, variable from the denominator and now it just becomes a very simple basic power rule problem f prime of x is equal to negative 2 x to the negative oops 3 don't do that again and we can move this uh, the x into the denominator by getting rid of the negative exponent so it becomes negative 2 over x cubed. And that's it. That's how easy these problems are. Let's take a look at a second problem. How about, uh, well, how about f of x equal to 1 over 2x squared? 1 over 2x squared. Okay, well, here we can break out the one half. We have a one in the numerator and a two in the denominator. This is the same as multiplying one half by one over x squared, right? If we multiply one half by one over x squared, we would get one over two x squared. And now we can kick the x out of the denominator using a negative exponent. So f of x is equal to a half x to the negative 2. And now again, simple power rule problem. Negative 2 times a half is negative 1. So we have f prime x is equal to negative x to the negative 3, right? We subtract 1 from the exponent. And if we want to write this in fractional form, f prime of x, the derivative, first derivative, is equal to negative 1 over x cubed. That's it. That's all there is to it. Let's look at another problem. Oops, let me straighten that out. How about, um, well, let's use y this time. How about 3 over 5x to the fourth? y equals 3 over 5x to the fourth. Well, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to break out the three-fifths. 3 over 5 times 1 over x to the fourth. So, again, if we multiplied three-fifths by 1 over x to the fourth, it would, it would multiply out as 3 over 5x to the fourth. And now we can get rid of uh, uh, the denominator here by using a negative exponent, so y is equal to 3 fifths x to the negative 4. And now again, it's a simple power rule problem. Neg uh, y prime is equal to, well, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 over 5 x to the negative fifth. And that's it. We're finished. We can just kick this uh, variable x to the negative fifth into the denominator. So y prime is equal to negative 12 over 5. Whoops! x to the fifth. <laughs> there we go. That's it. That's all there was to it. See, these problems shouldn't shake up students, but they do for some reason. Year after year. Let's look at uh, one or two more on this video and then we'll uh, I'll work a few more problems on a second video. Uh, how about y is equal to, how about 6 over the square root of x? Well, that can be rewritten as 6 over x to the 1 half. 
And that can be rewritten as 6x to the negative 1 half. All right, we can uh, use the negative exponent on the 1 half, and we've got it all on one line. We can use the power rule. All is right with the world. So let's differentiate this fellow. Negative 1 half times 6 is negative 3x. Negative 1 half minus 1. Well, 1 can be rewritten as 2 over 2. So negative 1 half minus 2 over 2 is negative 3 over 2. And there's our solution, our answer. We can write it in uh, a little bit nicer, maybe. Negative 3 over x to the 3 halves. So there's uh, this one. We, 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 you know, the fact that it's a fractional exponent up here is irrelevant. So there's that one. Let's take uh, one more problem here. Uh, uh, how about one with the number e? So how about y is equal to 4 over e to the x? Well, that can be rewritten as 4e to the negative x. Now, with the number e, this is technically a little chain rule problem that we have going on here, but the, the derivative of e to the x... In other words, d dx e to the x is e to the x. However, if we've got d dx e to the u, and this should probably be a u, well, that's going to be equal to e to the u times the derivative of u, or u prime. So let me show you what I'm talking about here in this problem. y equals 4 over e to the x, and that's equal to 4 e to the negative x. So now we're going to take, well, let's just do it formally. y prime is equal to, let's rewrite this, 4 e to the negative x times negative 1, the derivative of negative x. And therefore, y prime is equal to negative 4e to the negative x. There's our derivative. Uh, let me work one more problem here with uh, the number e. How about um, y equals 3 over 2e to the x? Okay, so this can be rewritten the same way we've been doing it. We take out the three halves, we multiply it by 1 over e to the x, and then we're going to kick this e to the x out of the denominator. So y is equal to 3 halves e to the negative x. So now it just becomes uh, similar to before, e to the x times x prime, I guess we could write. So y prime is equal to 3 halves e to the negative x times negative 1, the derivative of negative x. So y prime is equal to negative 3 over 2 e to the negative x. And there's our derivative. Uh, I have a number of other problems like this. There, I'm going to make a second videotape right now as soon as this one, as soon as I end this one. So I'll be working much more complicated problems on uh, the second video that's upcoming. Uh, so once again, uh, by the way, if uh, you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you leave some nice comments for me. And in the, I wish you all good health, good happiness, and a lot of luck. And uh, there's a number of other videos up uh, on the internet that you can use to help yourselves in calculus, probability and statistics, linear algebra, algebra, and so forth. Once again, my name is Charles Kaplan. Bye-bye.